Hello MG, my name is Nemesis from Planet Photoshop Forums and I'll be doing tutorial for you that you have requested in the forums and we will be making something like this that we can wrap the some newspapers around some person or, uh, or an object so we will go to this document as you can see you have the image you have provided to me and I have found a newspaper image that we will wrap around some uh, person and I will wrap this uh, newspaper around this boy because uh, uh, when turned to grayscale uh, for the displacement map and that is filter that requires grayscale uh, mode of the image so or is based working on a grayscale luminosity value so uh, it is more it will have more shades of gray on the boy and dog uh, to wrap around the dog is not particularly particular good because uh, dog have a uh, more yellowish or white uh, color so uh, it won't have uh, too much uh, shades of gray so filter won't work uh, quite well and uh, what what I will do now is uh, I'll go to newspaper okay I see I'll go to background, I will go to select all and I will go to edit and I will go copy then I will go to channels and I will I have already pre-made two channels of the selection of the entire boy and the uh, dog that I can remove the grass around and I have only selection of the boy so uh, I will make a new channel and I will go to edit menu and I will go paste to paste the uh, image of the boy and the dog and uh, I have already selected this and I will go to edit again I'll go to copy and I will go to file new and, and as you can see from clipboard it will record the dimensions that I have copied before I will say RGB document and I will go to OK and I will go to edit menu and paste. Uh, this is the document that I will use for my displacement map and I will go to file, save and I will save it as a map, save and we will replace, okay, I will close this document and I will delete this channel because I don't need it anymore and I will go to select menu and I will go deselect. And I will go to layers panel I will go to newspapers and I will activate the visibility of the layer then I will go to channels I will press the control or command key on the Macintosh and call the channel both of the dog or or a boy or only a boy and I will go to layers and I will go to filter then I will go distort and displace. Uh, as you can see you have here horizontal and vertical scale and this is on default and I will leave it this way but you can play with it and uh, to see what works best for you but uh, the greater the number the greater the displacement will be and maybe because of this uh, low resolution file I will go something with 8 or 8 and I'll go OK and I will be prompted to choose a displacement map that we have created before and I have and I will choose map I will go open and as you can see it have displaced uh, only where's the boy uh, into this selection but now I need to uh, get dog through so I need to mask out the areas on the newspaper so I can see the dog okay I will load the alpha 1 channel with command or control clicking on it and I'll press the alt key uh, on the alpha 2 channel of the boy to get only the selection of the dog and I'll go to filter uh, uh, my mistake select inverse and I will press the mask to add the layer mask and as you can see I have 
added the boy here with displacement and uh, I have shown through the dog through the newspaper now we need more tweaking uh, which is a bit manual work uh, but what I can do now is uh, for example I can add a drop shadow I can add inner shadow of it and I can go to blending options and for example this layer as you can see I can like this you can see here to show through a little bit of the boy texture but now this is more manual work for as you can see here the actual bendings where the boy uh, is and maybe you can get it like this and go to select menu color range and you can choose for example shadows okay and I, I ha I'm having the shadows here so I can uh, press the control or command J so I'm getting the shadows on separate layer you can see here and uh, I can fill in the shadows with black so I will press shift and control or command and press the backspace or option and shift and I'll go to filter I'll go to Gaussian blur and this is too much value for me and like this okay and I can move this up above the newspaper layer and I can do masking for this part so I will choose the brush tool I need uh, since this is a black mask uh, I will need foreground color black I will press X key to switch the colors and I will increase the brush size pressing the right bracket key on my keyboard and as you can see I will remove the parts of the shadows I don't need here and I will maybe lower the opacity of this one so <coughs> you can see the <coughs> the shadow areas where the boy is and I can mask out this one on the dog and as you can see I can press again double click on this and I will I can say layer mask hides effects and you can see that I will I have lost the shadows I won't do this but I have intended to mask out the areas where the shadow of the dog here but for this purpose I think uh, this will be enough for you and uh, if you have any more or more question about this so you can drop me a private message on the f or in forum so uh, we can refine more this technique so you can uh, uh, get the better and better results with with this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed and see ya.